Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, sisters of YouTube. Uh, it looks like that the one thing I have been able to do is actually start a very um, a controversial, which it shouldn't be controversial anyway, um, a very educated, and at least one thing um, I have accomplished, I've been able to stimulate the thought um, of men's minds where otherwise it would not be stimulated if the truth was not brought uh, straightforward to you. Now, I understand that many of you still disagree. And disagreement is healthy. I mean, after all, uh, David, um, a, a man on here who I'm very fond of, I believe David is my friend, no doubt about it. And but David disagrees totally um, with with the, um, me using the uh, scriptures for the hair um, and and uh, the feet like bronze or brass or and uh, burnt in the fire like brass burnt in the fire. And I understand. I understand. And but Pastor Dow is not just going to have a, a falling out with someone just because they disagree. Some of us, we get so passionate uh, when people disagree with us um, that we close up ourselves and we shut up ourselves from learning. As a matter of fact, I even favored this video and, and connected it to the video. And most people would, would actually wonder, well, why in the world would uh, Pastor Dow will see somebody who has a dissenting viewpoint that disagrees with what he just got finished saying and then turn around and then favor his video? Because it stimulates thoughts. It gives people uh, an idea. He did go through the a painstaking time to actually make a video to respond. Most people just get on the air and they just, um, you know, let their mouth run and just let it go. Uh, and they don't, you never get to hear the expression of their heart except in typing and stuff, which is kind of hard to discern uh, where people are actually coming from. But um, you know what hurts more than lies? Do you know what hurt more than lies? You know, there is something that hurts more than lies. I'm going to tell you what it is. What hurts more than lies is a half truth that really truly hurts I read through some of the comments not all of them it's just entirely too many to read through um, but the one thing is true as you can tell that people are not students of history uh, they're students of feelings and emotions and people don't do the research for instance you can't look at today's Egyptians or the people who are in that land today and think you have an understanding of the way that people looked 4,000 years ago or 2,000 years ago. If you're a student of history, uh, you don't even have to be a student of the Bible, just a little, just a student of history. I had another man, Jim, from the UK, um, made, made a, a, a very sound response um, when he showed that the Portuguese went over to India. Um, and and uh, and then over a period of time, the Catholic Church actually took over the Church of Thomas that was over there in India and when they got there, they seen that all the images on the wall were black people. And, of course, by the time the Catholics got over there uh, through many different uh, colonialisms and conquests, they turned around and they painted all the images white, just like the Apocrypha said um, that they did. And the Apocrypha clearly calls it. That's the reason why that the Romans, the Greeks, and the European removes it from you. But just history, and the greatest history book there's ever been is the Bible, clearly explains to you clearly explains to you uh, who the ancient Hebrew Israelites were. Let me just state some truthful facts here. But number one, they were in slavery to the Egyptians. And we know that the Egyptians were black people. And we know that the Hebrews, the ancient Hebrew Israelites, were black people. That means Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, Moses. They were, they were black people. Um, but the ancient Hebrew Israelites, because of the refusal of keeping the commandments of the Most High, not only did they go in slavery to the Egyptians, and then Moses delivered them out. Uh, and Moses did not look like Charlton Heston. But the ancient Hebrew Israelites, actually, they, they were in the Assyrian slavery. Uh, the Babylonian slavery, uh, the Medes and Persian slavery. Uh, they were also in uh, the Greek, the Greco-Roman slavery. And, of course, a lot of blacks, the Hebrews, they were actually in slavery by the Arabs, the Europeans, and the Americans. And the prophecies of the book clearly said that, that, that um, in Deuteronomy 28 that the Hebrews would go into ships again by slavery, and that's how the blacks got over here um, to America, because they came over here by ships, 
in slavery. And when we look at the people who so call themselves Jews today, you know, that 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 half truth or that lie that has been sold to the whole entire world, they have not been in one captivity in the history of mankind. I know this is painful for most people. It really truly is. I think what I'm going to do here for a second, and we may go into what color would Jesus, um, number four after this, but to state some facts here. The ancient Hebrew Israelites were all a black nation. They were a black people, just like the Egyptians were, just like they all were. When they went into these slaveries, they intermingled and mixed with the Egyptians. They intermingled and mixed with the Assyrians and the Babylonians, the Medes and the Persians. Um, because through these conquests right here, they end up intermixing. So, But then what happened later on is the, Gre the Greece, uh, Roman, Greco-Roman um, empires, when Rome came into play, um, they, they were atrocious. I mean, they actually um, killed the men, rape, rob, murder um, uh, the villages and, and towns. And, and uh, they took the women for themselves. And, and of course, by the time you get finished with um, uh, hundreds or thousands of years of, of, of conquest like this, it's, it's not hard to see how that the seed can get watered down or the skin color uh, can get watered down. So the problem today is, is that many of you are pro approaching things when you hear it from what you think you know without doing any research whatsoever at all. And I hope um, that I've said something here in this video that will stimulate it because it's not racism, nor is it being a racist for stating the truth and the facts. And that is the truth. Some of us have literally bitten from the fruit of lies. You'll see in the prophecies of Hosea that Jesus it clearly says that out of Egypt, I have called my son. That means he had to go into Egypt and hide. Back then, Egypt was not a uh, what you call a Mediterranean people like today, nor were they, uh, nor were there any uh, white people dwelling in Egypt um, like like we see today. Um, and, and then the prophecies also confirm in the book of Matthew um, that Mary and Joseph had to actually take Jesus and hide him again into Egypt fulfilling the prophecies. So there's much to be desired. And all of that, um, the prophecies also prophesied that the Most High said that, that um, Ethiopia and Egypt are his sons. Um, so we got a lot to learn. I understand. Uh, when we have grew up on this side of the pond over here, um, America has given us a different perspective. And mind you, it's the same America, at least here in the Tennessee the state of Tennessee, they want to actually erase all the history of slavery because they don't want to so-called impugn the characters of Thomas Jefferson and George Washington. By the way, if I ask you a question, what color was George Washington? And then I turn around and told you that George Washington was a red Indian. Would that be an uproar? Would that be an uproar? Because I know I'm not telling the truth in that. I know that George Washington was a white man, but is it really truly racism for stating the obvious? If somebody's white, they're white. They're black, they're black. They're red, they're red. They're yellow, they're yellow. Why do we always get so offended? I'll tell you the reason why. Because we've had our minds and our conscience trained and manipulated. Let me give you a few pictures that you can even just gather up here, right here on Google. You can get it on Google right here. I'm going to place them on here and let you see them for yourself what the ancient Israelites, as well as the ancient Egyptians looked like 4,000 years ago. We're going to show you the ruling elite of the Egyptians, as well as those who are in slavery. We're going to see the hieroglyphics. We're going to see some statues, see some features. You tell me what they look like. Attention! Attention! All my people! All my people. African Americans! We've been doing My so-called Negroes!
been hoodwinked and bamboozled So why you fighting for a nation that used you? Cause when they make the constitution, didn't include you And black and white fountains, Jim Crow to exclude you The really lynch letters laid the plan to abuse you 300 years later, and this plan still proves true Had a chance to pay some reparations, they refused to Set to slave a certain group of people and they knew who The same ones enslaved by Egypt, the Hebrews And we are not African Americans, we Hebrews And I ain't speaking out of my neck, I'm speaking out of the text And paying homage to my people out of respect Cause we are people that's been robbed and poor I need the sellers out for money, fame, jewelry, cars plus a pot of gold And when my people barely making it, they pockets swole Let's get these lanes up, lead us out the door and this is for all my people who been lied to Stripped naked, slain and slayed from riders Black folk of Israel survival It's our time now, it's our survival This is for all my people who been lied to Stripped naked, slain and slayed from riders Black folk of Israel survival It's our time now, it's our survival America spraying the rise of crying and raining Her voices of angels are fainting cause evil is strengthened Where are the words of her prophets they speak without saying She labors to be rich but get short of nothing for payment Her body's been stripped of her beautiful jewelry and raiment Her skin complexion's blood red with white and blue painted She'll only open up her legs for Benjamin Franklin While getting pop culture hair from black entertainment And for what a whole panel of niggas complaining About hip hop, censors and social campaigning Y'all full of and you probably need some body training Cause we're the lost tribe of Israel stolen from Canaan Through exaggerated con and racial arrangement Fetters and chains, birth pains and public hangings Like it or not, America's gotten pregnant with ancient Prophecy and the waters are finally breaking This is for all my people who been lied to Strip naked, slain and slain from rivals Black folk of Israel survival It's our time now, it's our survival This is for all my people who been lied to Strip naked, slain and slain from rivals Black folk of Israel survival It's our time now, it's our survival You got tyrannical, dogmatic indoctrinations Ruling ecclesiastical who gathers by imagination They don't know y'all, but yet they claim they having conversation Afraid of the real truth, so they contemplating Conspiring with one another, secret conversations Changing the Sabbaths and the laws and bringing condemnations They celebrating abominations, so they homage pagans And no respectful instructions is what they demonstrating And now it's patiently waiting, making a crystal of nations And I drive now our salvation, it's where we become a nation then the nation will serve the same people they hate and the same people they kick, not the slave. Young and old, they treated us all the same. All the same. The word says that they hated us for his name. For his name. They ain't accepting me, came in his father's name. His name. It's all good, cause he still gets show where the king. This is for all my people who been lied to. Strip naked, 